Hello, my dear friend. Welcome one more time to another Bible study, the series of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. Today we are starting reading in chapter 16, and uh, we read, very, very happy knowing that the Lord is going to show us profound truths. Now, I want to invite you to go to our website, thechurch.us, and from there you will be able to connect with all the rest of platforms. If you liked to subscribe to the podcast or you want to watch on the YouTube channel, perhaps you like to follow us on Facebook, and the rest of platforms available, Vimeo channel, Roku channel, and the Apple TV channel, all of them available for you. So my name is Gian, and it is my pleasure to read today the letter, chapter 16, verses 1 and 2, and we read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Please, Lord, guide us through this study. I want you to know that you can trust our sister in Christ, Phoebe. She is a special servant of the church in Kenkria. I ask you to accept her in the Lord. Accept her the way God's people should. Help her without, <laughs> help her with anything she needs from you. She has helped me very much, and she has helped many others too. Majority of the time you will see the preacher, the worship leader, some of the leaders of the church on a stage or on camera, using the microphone, telling people where we are, what is what we're going to do, and explaining many things about the work that we do in the church. It's not common to see people with outstanding personalities, you know, great, uh, let's say, individuals that are extroverted occupying those positions because it requires certain personality. But there is something that so many people ignore. is the presence and work of individuals that are always behind scenes. It is so funny. It is funny, not in a funny way. <laughs> Just in a way, weird, strange way that... Uh, a lot of people that don't like to be noticed, a lot of people that they like to be behind scenes, they perform tremendous important tasks in the church. Here is one example is the sister, Phoebe, which obviously is, is a top of the line church member. Someone that always helps, actually someone that helped tremendously the Apostle Paul. For whatever reason, Phoebe, wherever they met, is now getting to go to Rome. Phoebe is going to be there. And Paul is telling them, help her. Phoebe is, is the kind of individual that uh, is not asking for anything in return. Phoebe is, is the person that always does things right, considers the need and the necessity of everybody else, and without hesitation says, I'm going to give you what you need. I am going to do what is needed to help you. There are brothers and sisters in the churches that they are like that. In fact, they are very beautiful individuals. And they, most of the time, are quiet they don't say much, at least in public. And they are sweet, they are generous, they are kind. And uh, as I said earlier, they like to be behind scenes. It's interesting to, to meet individuals with that personality because you find treasures in them. That's the way that I see it. Sometimes you find individuals with uh, great gifts, gifts that uh, we need in the church, for example, musicians and singers and speakers, and uh, they are needed because we need musicians, we need singers, we need people speaking in front of everybody else. But uh, what about the rest of the tasks in the church that they will never be noticeable? Different things that we do in our churches to begin with the facilities. You know, all the facilities, wherever you worship God, 
they need to have clean bathrooms. They need to have the sanctuary clean and in order. The classes for children, classes for Bible studies, the parking lot. Just to give you some examples, if there is a kitchen, those who like to help in preparing coffee for the rest. All those little things. Most people don't pay attention to that. Most people just come and go to the services, right? And there are ones that they come to be on a stage because it's their task, it's their job. But what about those who have responsibilities that are behind scenes? Just to give you examples of what happens in, in the church. But another example that I can give you is precisely all this work that we do today with media. So there are cameras, there are microphones, there are lights, stages, studios that need to be maintained. Those individuals are not going to be necessarily here in front of everybody, and you will see them, you will listen to them. You are expecting to see the pastor, the preacher, to do the talk. But what about those that are behind the scenes? There are editors, audio editors, video editors, musicians, all these people working with illustrations, images. And in these days, we need a lot of people working with software, programs, apps, all kind of tools that we need to handle in order to provide a good quality video for you. A broadcast that you will say, I like this broadcast. I like to watch this video, this Bible lesson, this show, program, video, whatever you're going to call it. And of course, there is a process. There is a pre-production. There is a filming and recording. And then the production itself, the reproduction, and finally releasing these products so you can watch it and enjoy it. Back in the day when Paul was writing this to the Romans, he didn't have tools like this. He didn't have access to <laughs> these fabulous things that we use today. Cameras and software, microphones and all that, stage and studios that uh, we preachers, we use to proclaim the great news of our Lord Jesus Christ, to teach the Word of God. Paul didn't have access to that. Not even a simple microphone and a good speaker to talk to large crowds. But not just that. He needed many other things. And imagine situations where even food was needed or a place to stay. Perhaps things related with uh, his clothes his items, traveling expenses, etc. Individuals that help preachers and ministers are going to be rewarded, definitely. The Lord said, even there, if it's, there is a glass of water that you give to a prophet, you will receive a reward like if you were a prophet. So God is going to Bless everybody for helping. But what, what's, what kind of example is uh, Paul here giving us to us preachers that is willing to recommend somebody to a group of people? You know, that is something special because in these days, majority of people don't want to recommend anybody else. Have you thought about that? It was a necessity years ago that in order to get a job, you needed a letter of recommendation from people. And then they started to change that to something called reference, which is a name, phone number, email address, perhaps, of somebody that at least knows this individual. But in the ministry, imagine anyone who is, is a good 
church member, is someone that helps and provides different kind of help to everybody, not just to the church itself to the, as an organization, but to the church members, helping others. For whatever reason, this person is moving. Imagine this local pastor, when gets to know that, says to this church member, my friend, my brother, my sister, you don't worry about it. Whenever you go, wherever you go to you, your new destination, your new place, because you are relocating, I'm going to talk to that pastor of that church. <laughs> It's even better. I'm going to write you this letter of recommendation. You just present this letter or give him my name, my number, etc. The endorsement of somebody to somebody else, especially a minister, that is something that speaks loudly. It does. And vice versa when you think about it. How important is that church members endorse their pastors and they say, you know, this man of God has integrity. He's a decent man. He really serves the Lord. Him and his family are decent people. They are individuals that they get it right. Not perfect, but they are godly individuals. They really serve the Lord. There is only one way that you can really find out if you can endorse somebody. There is only one way that somebody will endorse you. What is that way? When you spend time together, you get involved, and you do projects together. Everything that you do, you need to do it for God. Whatever is what you are doing in your daily life, you need to do it for the glory of the Lord. Even in your workplace, in your neighborhood, with your family, you need to think that way. I'm going to do this for the glory of God. And when you are pleasing God that way, you know what is going to happen? People will immediately realize that you are a good guy, that you are a good girl. And that gives you a great recommendation in the future. Doing what is right not just opens doors for you, but also they are seeds. When you are planting those kind of seeds, the harvest is going to be fantastic for you. The Lord is going to bless you. So that is why it doesn't matter, really, if people will endorse you or reward you or even acknowledge your help. Whatever you do, you do it unto the Lord, for the Lord. He is the one that is going to take care of you. And all begins when in your heart you know that doing this, helping somebody, is the right thing to do. Thank you for being here with me this evening, and I wish you a beautiful rest of your night. See you next week. Baby, let's see if you can do this. Yes, search app, G on TV. You got this, honey? It's on. That's right. Man, you're a genius. Old people get so happy with something so simple. By Giancarlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 that's all, that's all, that's all, folks. 
Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.